Warning, the following review will contain heavy spoilers for the movie Cult of Chucky. If you have not seen this movie, I recommend getting off the video and going to watch it. You have been warned. Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Super Nintendo, and today I got a review of Cult of Chucky, the long-awaited seventh movie in the Chucky franchise. Now, a little bit of a setting, and I'm just going to read it right off of the Google video, Google Play video thing. Confined to an asylum for a criminally insane for the past four years, Nika Pierce, I think is her name, is wrongly convicted that she, not Chucky, murdered her entire family. But when her psychiatrist inter introduces a new therape therapeutic tool to facilitate... Yeah, that, that's it. For, to facilitate her patients, his patients' group sessions, an all-too-familiar good guy doll with an, with an unsightly smiling face. A string of grisly deaths begin to plague the asylum. Andy Barkley, Chucky's now grown-up nemesis from the original Child's Play, races to Nika's aid. But to save her, he'll have to get past Tiffany, Chucky's long, long ago bride, who will do anything, no matter how deadly or depraved, to help her beloved devil doll. That's just the little summary off of the Google Play video thing. Now, I love this movie. I really do. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a massive Chucky fan. This movie has answered questions I've had about Curse of Chucky in that Chucky doesn't seem to bleed in that movie. Well, and I am going to be going into spoilers. Um, I'll probably put something in the video before you all get to see it, but... um. Chucky apparently is able to, I don't even want to say it because it's so, um, so amazing. Okay, I, everybody who has seen Child's Play 3 knows that, or has uh, seen the uh, Chucky Files, a online interview thing with Don Mancini, I forget who made the video specifically. I'll put it in the descript I'll put a link to the playlist in the description. Um if you watch the Child's Play 3 one, you would know that Don Mancini originally wanted Child's Play 3 to have a Chucky clone army, but they couldn't do it because funds and the dolls mechanics are so expensive. So what they did here is amazing. Chucky uses a voodoo spell to basically copy his consciousness into other dolls or anything that is humanoid in, in like design. So he can do it to dolls, people, whatever. And uh, a few times in the, I predicted the twist or whatever like early in the movie, but that's just because I like to analyze things and create theories as I'm watching them. You know, try to do that thing of like when you watch a crime drama or something, you try to figure out the solution before the characters do because it makes you feel smart. I guessed 98% of what was going to happen. And that in and of itself is a little bit of a problem, but I don't know if it's because of me being a massive Chucky fan. I've seen all the movies, all six of them currently, and I'm not entirely sure. The animation, the not animation, this isn't a fucking cartoon. Um, the effects, let's move on to effects. Um, 
The effects in this movie, fucking great. There's only one time in the movie where the effects seem so fake that I actually laughed at it. And, uh... It... Overall, the mechanics on Chucky himself have been improved greatly. At first, when I saw the trailers, Chucky didn't seem to look right. But watching the movie now, I realized that it was Chucky was made that way to appear more toy-like. Because like in the previous movies, you could tell he was like an animatronic doll type thing. But in the... Uh, in Cult of Chucky, he actually appears to be much more like a toy. Like an actual toy running around. Which I think is really good. Re really, um... I'm having a brain fart here. I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say, but I can't um, think of it. Uh, let's move on to acting. Because, you know, this is a movie, you need to act. The acting in this movie, fucking amazing. The Because they're in an insane asylum, you get to experience all kinds of different craziness. Um, you get a guy called Multiple Malcolm who has multiple personality disorder and he keeps flip-flopping between different personalities. Uh, one of them's like Mark Zuckerberg and... Um, I, I forget the other the other uh, personalities he was, but at one point he actually thinks he's Chucky, and it's really clever the way they did that, because uh, what they did is, uh, you saw it in the trailer, there's this lady who thinks that Chucky is her baby, or something like that, and uh, Chucky convinces her to push him into a grave and throw Chucky in there too, so you're thinking, oh shit, Chucky transferred his mind into uh, Malcolm. And uh, for a long time, that's where I thought it was going. So it actually got me. Um, and uh, yeah, the effects in this are, the acting is really good. You got uh, this one lady who thinks she's a ghost. And uh, so she's constantly saying shit like, don't be afraid of me. Can you actually see me? And stuff like that. And that, that is amazing. I actually, I, I, I know, you know, being a 21, almost 22 year old, I know that they're just acting, but it really felt genuine. Like they actually did believe this. And that, that is a credit to the actors. Major props. And, um, what's his name? Uh, Alex Vincent. Alex Vincent comes back as Andy Barkley. Um, fucking amazing. Uh, the opening of this movie was amazing. Um, Andy Barkley at the, if you watch the uncut trailer, or not uncut trailer, uncut version of Curse of Chucky, you get a little bit of like a six months later and um, Chucky shoots or Andy shoots Chucky and Chucky and at first we are like, oh, Ch Andy killed Bark and, and brain fart. Um, Andy finally killed Chucky and you see what Andy did with this doll with, with uh, Chucky. He, Chucky is sitting there with like half of his head missing, like fucking Frieza, and uh, just his head, trying to prove to the world Chucky is alive. Now, it's very cleverly structured because at the beginning, you don't know if that's happening in the past or the present. And you think, okay, Andy kills Chucky, and then somebody just resurrects Chucky and sends him to the insane asylum. At first, that's what I was thinking because direct. Th this movie is very clever about how it averts your expectations. Because it is a straight to DVD Blu ray movie, you don't expect a very big budget. 
and they work with it. This is a example of a movie that goes above and beyond the expectations for it. And I am super excited to see what Chucky has for us in the future. And this movie is so good that I will be picking it up on in Blu-ray whenever I am able to see if there's any kind of bonus features or whatever that this Google Play version doesn't have. So, as for my rating, I will have to give this movie a 9 a 9 out of 10. It very, it is very good about averting expectations and uh, whatnot. The, the story is, meh, kind of, um, but the gore and the twists and whatnot, all very welcomed for any Chucky fan. If you are a horror movie enthusiast or a Chucky fan, I recommend you pick up Cult of Chucky. And this has been a Super Nintendo review. I shall see you guys in the next review. Bye-bye!